So, you know, right before the show, President Biden pledged to strengthen America's squeeze on Putin on multiple fronts. He talked about the uh, vice president's announcement yesterday that the U.S. is sending Ukraine an additional $53 million in humanitarian aid. Uh, but this is the moment from her press conference, which uh, with the Polish president, uh, Kamala's, uh, that the right wing cannot get over, the right wing press. Watch this. I'm wondering what the United States is going to do more specifically to set up a permanent infrastructure. And relatedly, is the United States willing to make a specific allocation for Ukrainian refugees? And for President Duda, I wanted to know if you think and if you asked the United States to specifically accept more refugees. OK. <laughs> A friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> okay, right. yeah, I can first. Oh. The laugh got them. She went on to say that the U.S. is committed to helping refugees, but some on the right say that this was humiliating. Did you have a problem with any of the way she handled this, uh, ladies? Uh, people are talking about, about it. Uh, that, uh, I personally think if she was a guy, they would never say it, because they also made fun of Hillary's laugh. Mm -hmm. But I don't see them making fun of, of Pence's laugh or any of the other guys. Did he laugh? Well, they don't laugh very much. <laughs> but I he mean, didn't even move the fly that was on his face for like an hour. So it actually really wasn't on his face. It was hair. on his hair. And his hair. I mean, to, be fun, to be fair, we did make fun of that fly. We did. To be fair, yeah. And I don't know that it's about her laughing, because I agree. I think that would be very inappropriate and that that's something that they do to women. I think that she has gone on multiple occasions a little bit underprepared with, with some of the questions that she's been asked. Lester Holt asked her a pretty basic question that she couldn't answer. So I don't know if it's a staff thing. She's not prepared enough. Perhaps she's not expecting the questions. I don't know what it is, but I think that's the issue. This is like the fourth or fifth time. What it is is that they constantly question the qualifications of black women, and that's why people are saying that she's unprepared. And oh, I disagree. I think she's You can disagree, but that's woman. the truth of it. And so this is based in racism. This is based in misogyny. And we're talking about a woman that has extensive experience um, abroad, extensive experience as an attorney, expensive, extensive experience as, a, as a, <clears throat> the chief legal officer of, of our, one of our largest states in the country. And I, I think this is just much ado about <coughs> nothing. I mean, we didn't talk about Vice President Pence's, uh, the right didn't talk about his handling of the COVID ep epidemic, which I think, or the AIDS epidemic, which I think led to, you know, thousands and thousands of deaths. And what, we, what they're talking about is, is, is her laugh. She was there. Um, as an emissary, really, and she wanted to reassure the NATO allies that, uh, ru that as Russia steps up its attacks on Ukraine, that the United States was going to be supportive. In fact, she's in, I think, Bulgaria right now. She is prepared. She is seasoned. Um, abroad, she, she gets wonderful marks across the board. But this is just something that I think happens to women, and especially black women. And, you, you know, the, yeah, you're, you're right about that. If, you know, look, anybody who says that Kamala Harris is not a qualified person, that Kamala Harris is not a serious person, mm -hmm. really needs to go back and check where that's coming from. Mm -hmm. Because if you think a child of immigrants who is from Southeast Asia and, is, and has a Jamaican father who grew up the way she grew up, be, went to law school in the best law schools, became, uh, you know, got to where she is, was one of the top prosecutors in asking questions in the Judiciary Committee yeah. when she was in the Senate. If you think that happened because she's not serious or because she's not qualified, then you should go qualify your heart and qualify your opinions. But um, they do this all the time, right? They, they, they have an obsession over Kamala Harris laughing. Guess what? She laughs. I think it's a crutch she uses. This was a 50-minute, very serious press conference. They always do this. They take Let the five ask. seconds where she laughs yeah. and they play it over and over and over yeah. again. It's not like she spent 50 minutes that laughing. That was the final question. You know, you and know, it was a very question. lengthy question. I think they were laughing at the fact that the question had like And it was repetitive it. because they had handled that Something already. just occurred to me because I was watching uh, that movie Game Change last night, which is about Sarah Palin. Mm. Oh, it please. happened to be running on... And, you know, during those years, everybody was on her case. Yeah. Correct, correctly, I think. She really didn't know what she was doing. She you really wasn't prepared. She really did. And so maybe this is payback for that. Who knows? I just thought of that this minute. Maybe. 
Well, well, she wasn't prepared. I mean, she could see what Russia from her backyard and all of this nonsense. Well, we, we went after her. We were hard on her. Prepared. We were hard on her. Now the right wants to be hard on Kamala. The qualifications for, for Kamala. People are still compare. angry about Sarah Palin. You know, I mean, they, they're still mad at uh, the Supreme Court for putting in uh, uh, somebody that we did, the Borg, Borg, that we bought the guy. I, they're paying us back for that. I, I do think there's something very particular about Kamala. Look, they don't want Kamala Harris to be the, to be the person who's uh, at bat to be uh, the next nominee for Democrats. They want to make sure that they undermine her so Absolutely. that she doesn't have an advantage if and when that position is open and she, uh, and she tries to run for it. And I think it irks them. I think, uh, I think there were aspects about President Obama that irked some people. And yes, absolutely, okay. there's a racial aspect to it. All right, so Martha Raddatz is live in Leave, Ukraine, this Sunday on a special edition of This Week here on ABC. So check it out.